one of Russia's largest and busiest passenger terminals, Moscow Passagierskaya Kazanskaya has officially completed its transition to a modern microprocessor-based centralization system. With this milestone, the station has become the 90th fully digital station within the jurisdiction of the Moscow Railway Central Transport Directorate. This modernization marks a major step in the digital transformation of the Moscow Railway Hub, ensuring safer, more efficient, and higher capacity train operations. The upgrade was carried out over two consecutive weekends in late November during specially designated technological windows. These are controlled time periods in which railway teams can safely suspend or redirect certain operations to allow infrastructure replacement. Around 300 railway specialists from different departments worked each day, coordinating closely so that the station's heavy passenger and freight activity experienced only minimal disruption. The digital transformation required the integration of a large amount of infrastructure into the new microprocessor system. A total of 152 switch points were connected to the digital control architecture, enabling precise routing of trains between tracks. 186 signals were also integrated, all of which regulate train movement and maintain safe spacing. With every component functioning under unified digital logic, automation reliability increases significantly. A new central control station has been commissioned to serve as the operational hub for dispatch personnel. This three-story building covers more than 3,100 square meters, or roughly 33,400 square feet. It contains modern workstations, rest areas, dining facilities, showers, changing rooms, and storage areas. The building was designed to meet both the technological demands of digital railway management and the comfort needs of staff who monitor and control train movements around the clock. The station's physical layout also received major improvements. Two additional intermediate tracks were added to increase capacity for train reception and repositioning. Ten new switch points were installed for the expanded track arrangement. One of the main receiving and departure routes was fully rebuilt to meet modern standards and handle the higher traffic expected after the upgrade. The work took place in two phases. During the first phase, teams reconfigured the first and second main tracks, nine receiving and departure tracks, and ten stub tracks. During the second phase, they reconfigured the third, fourth, sixth, and seventh main tracks, built seven additional receiving and departure tracks, added seven more intermediate tracks, and reorganized 11 yard tracks used for storing and maneuvering trains. Microprocessor centralization fundamentally changes how railway infrastructure is managed. Earlier systems relied on electromechanical relays or manual mechanisms to control switches and signals. These older systems are dependable but slow, labor-intensive, and vulnerable to wear and human error. The new technology uses sophisticated digital logic to control critical elements of train movement. Dispatchers now work through computer interfaces that display real-time visualizations of the entire track layout. They can set routes instantly and with far greater precision than before. One major advantage is continuous diagnostics. Every connected device, whether a switch motor or a signal lamp, is monitored constantly. This makes it possible to detect early signs of malfunction long before an actual failure occurs. Maintenance teams can act preventively and avoid delays or potential safety risks. Modern microprocessor systems also include strong cybersecurity protections to defend against unauthorized access. Because digital systems are highly efficient, they also require robust protection from cyber threats. Another key feature is redundancy, which ensures that if one processor fails, a backup takes over immediately without interrupting train operations. Moscow Passagierskaya Kazanskaya handles large numbers of commuter, intercity, and long-distance trains every day, and the new digital system greatly improves its performance. Centralized remote control allows faster switching between routes, reducing gaps between train movements. 
This increases how many trains can pass through the station within the same period. Real-time monitoring gives dispatchers instant awareness of equipment conditions across the entire yard. This reduces unexpected failures and enables quicker responses when issues arise. The result is smoother dispatching, fewer bottlenecks, and better schedule reliability. Passengers benefit directly from fewer delays and improved punctuality. Trains can arrive and depart with greater precision. The expanded capacity also allows the station to handle growing demand without reducing safety. Preventive diagnostics reduce problems caused by faulty switches or signals, improving long-term reliability. The modernization at Kazanskaya is part of a wider national program to digitize railway infrastructure across Russia. The engineering firm GK1520 played a major role in deploying the microprocessor system. The same automation platform has already been installed at other major stations, including key nodes in the Moscow Transport Network and the Moscow Central Diameter Commuter Lines. Recent years have seen rapid progress in the digital transformation program. Stations such as Kurskaya, Rizskaya, and Smolenskaya have all completed similar upgrades. Each upgrade moves Moscow closer to a unified, high-capacity, and fully modern railway system capable of supporting the region's growing population and transportation needs. With 90 out of 92 targeted stations now digitized, the project is nearing completion. A transformation of this scale demands major human effort as well as advanced technology. Each technological window mobilized around 300 specialists from different fields, including signaling engineers, track technicians, electrical teams, construction crews, and dispatch personnel. Their work included removing old equipment, installing new cabling, integrating digital components, testing track devices, and calibrating the control systems. Completing such complex work within tight time limits required precise coordination across all departments. Trains moving through affected sections had to be safely rerouted or temporarily halted. Meanwhile, the new dispatch center was built in parallel, requiring installation of structural elements, electrical systems, ventilation, and specialized communication lines. Careful planning and teamwork ensured that all stages were finished on schedule without serious disruption. The modernization of Moscow, Passagerskaya Kazanskaya, represents a major step forward for Russia's railway network. Passengers will see more reliable service with fewer technical delays. The station's enhanced capacity makes the entire Moscow transport system more efficient, supporting millions of daily commuters and long-distance travelers. As more stations transition to digital systems, the network becomes more integrated and resilient. The upgrade also supports future developments such as higher frequency rail lines, improved suburban services, and better connections with metro, Moscow central diameter lines, and intercity routes. The digital transformation of Moscow, Passagerskaya Kazanskaya, stands as a milestone in Russia's railway modernization. The successful integration of 152 switch points, 186 signals, newly built tracks, and a state-of-the-art dispatch center demonstrates technological advancement and effective engineering cooperation. As the 90th digital station in the Moscow network, Kazanskaya now serves as a model for modern railway infrastructure, offering greater reliability, higher efficiency, and improved readiness for the transportation challenges of the future. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us.